51 year old Ethan Glover not guilty on both of the federal counts that were against him. This was a five day trial and on day five, the jury deliberated for just four hours before handing down that verdict happened just before 5 p.m. today. The panel essentially didn't buy the government's argument in this case that Glover, a retired BPD detective and DEA task force officer, skimmed $10,000 from a $2.4 million drug bust in April of 2016 and that he went out of his way to lie about it. The government's mantra this whole time has been the numbers don't lie, but the defense successfully proved that the government's numbers literally did not add up on paper or on the witness stand and ultimately did not add up to a conviction. Mr. Glover and his attorney, Joe Murtha, spoke with reporters on their way out of court late today. Mr. Glover thanked God, his family, and the jurors. For listening and, and, working, it and working through it and finding me to be not guilty. I haven't gotten a good night's sleep in almost three years and, and this is gonna be the first night that I can sleep and wake up and not worry about what the rest of my future is gonna look like. You always hope that justice will prevail but you never know and I can't tell you how relieved I am for Ethan and his family and that justice prevailed despite the steamroller atti attitude that the government had through this entire case. We asked defense attorney Joe Murtha what larger message the jury sent with their double not guilty verdicts this afternoon. Mr. Murtha answered, quote, not even the government is above the law. Reporting live outside federal court downtown tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL, TV 11 News.